Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the Sonora Freeway. Just after getting the classic Turismo, and finding that I really like that car a lot, I thought, I wonder, I just wonder, um, what's faster, the classic or the uh, the original? I mean, that's just worth something looking into, don't you think? At least, uh, and this is, of course, only valid pour moi. I mean, you know, you could get an indication, but you really should try it yourself. Turismo R. There you have it. There it is. Let's confirm this. Now, these are completely the unmodified rental cars. We'll be doing that with them. I'm thinking maybe we'll take the Turismos against one another. Throw in a Sterling GT. Now, let's see, let's see what we feel like testing here. Today. Let's start out with a Turismo. I would assume that the Turismo R would be faster than the Turismo Classic. I mean, that's kind of the, the thing you're going to expect. We're going to see here. We'll set the standard with the Turismo R, which is a supercar, so it should be faster, in theory, than the Sports Classics. It's hard to tell you it handles very well. Especially for an unmodified car. And as I said before, if you get close to two minutes, then you're doing pretty good on this one. Why is that braking zone coming up? How deep do I push it? Let's try that. Might have overbraked that a little bit. I could have probably pushed that a little deeper, but for the first time, really one of my first time driving is I think I've driven it in a couple other tests somewhere. Maybe during the road and track testing. Yeah, not the road and track testing, what am I saying? The top gear stuff. The top gear grand tour uh, video that I did. Road and track, well, that's another genre that we can get into probably. Of course that's every car. As you can see, this Turismo R is flying. And... crosses the line, completely unmodified, at two minutes, I us call it 201, roughly. That's impressive, that's a good time. Especially for an unmodified car, that is a quick beast right there. So now, let us see how its, uh, it's namesake, the classic, does. And we'll leave it blue so you know I'm not using my own Turismo Classic. Now uh, this is interesting because when you buy the Turismo Classic, it comes with a win. It comes with a stock spoiler, but when you get the rental, the spoiler is gone. That's an interesting thing. Guess that so it won't get an edge in the sports classic races if, uh, if customs are turned off of the other cars. But still, I think you're going to find that it would normally have quite an edge there. Expecting the handling to be a little bit less tight than the Turismo R. Still feels pretty darn fine. Oh, oh, it's yeah, it's definitely a little, little loopier. With the wing on my uh, Turismo Classic, I had no trouble with that thing. So the wing means something, folks. It definitely does. That's going to cost us. That means that the Trismo is one of the most important. Let's see. What we can do here. Let's just see what the time is going to be. Can I make up a second or two? Wow, 
Wow, this thing is tail happy without the wing. And it looks funny without the wing. That's just. Full disclosure, my fully modded Turismo Classic pulled the 201. So, again, not a perfect run for me, but better than this. So, I'm expecting this probably. What do you think? Maybe the 210 range? Have two minutes there, so here's the difference between the two. And you really take a second or two off of this time from my mistake there, looping it out. So, yeah, so 210, 211, somewhere in there. Okay, so you don't have to feel bad if you have a Turismo R that you've got a slower car than the Classic. Still, Classic's very quick. I mean, two, 214 for a sports Classic. It's pretty hustling. And you know, I'm probably a little thrown off because I went through all from all the grip on the R right to that. That might not be a, a thing to do. Let's try one of its uh, closest competitors now. See, do we do the Lambo or do we do the German car? Hmm. Definitely sports. Classics. Time of day. Noon. Clear traffic off. Definitely traffic off. We want that. We want to play. I almost want to do that over again, see if I can get a better time out of it. Not the Frankenstein, that's a Z type. You want to try it one more time here? Let's see if I can control it on that turn. Why not? You're curious, aren't you? Focus, focus. Maybe I'll ramble this, this, uh, this part of it here. It really does, that wing really does make a big difference. Doesn't look like it on the. Um, you know, looks like it's a little bit of track chance that anyway. No, there's definitely some things going on there. It does feel a lot looser than the arm. Could have got a little better through there. I think I can hammer it down pretty well through here. You can hear me ticking that a little less aggressively through there. Not wanting to pop this puppy around. All right, he took that flat. Doing better this time around. So far. I think I went quicker through the turn that time than I did the first time. And it kept through here. Yes. A little dancing around, but we have to lift. And I have to lift here and break. Quite a bit. Alright, that was pretty good though. Classic for the old school. Let's do this thing. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's a six second improvement. 209 301. I feel better about that. I think you do too. Uh, let's see. So what what are its competitors in the sports classic class? You got the Sterling, and you've got and the Sterling does isn't it's supposed to be in third place now. You haven't seen the official the official testing out of Brophy yet. At least not at the time of the making of this video. 
So let's do a little unofficial stuff here. What does 209 mean for the Sports Classic class here? Uh, so just play. We don't want it in super mode. Sports Classic. Sunshiny day. Clear. No traffic. It's a magical land where we can just drive like maniacs. The Sterling GT, the old standard bearer, which of course is going to suffer because it doesn't have uh, its rear tire, which acts as a spoiler. But then, neither did the Turismo, so it's Turismo Classic, so it's, it's even up here, folks. For Germany. It'll be interesting to see if the car has a much different feel. Maybe it takes it a little tighter as it returns. We have a little more. No, not entirely. Okay, it does go a little bit better. For the a little more grip, I think. It's not perfect though, it's still a sports class. Right. All the Sterling GT owners are like, I have been dominating for so long, don't make me buy a new car. Give me some hope here, Black Knight. Well, I'm gonna do my best. feels quick. I don't know that it feels as quick as the Jerusalem, but I did take that turn better than I have before. I think I got the braking on that time pretty well, which is pretty impressive considering I don't own a Sterling. It feels smoother. I mean, you feel like it should be faster. I feel like I should be getting a, a, a better time here. I don't know that I am. I have 152. I don't think. I don't think it's going to catch it at 209. Come on. Come on, Sterling. Oh, no. No, he's not going to do it. This doesn't have the beans to top in. 215. So that would have been beaten by the Turismo Classic even with the spin out. That's impressive. That's a huge gap. But we could definitely bid farewell to the Sterling. Which now we need the Classic in Furnace. Replay. There she is. Looking pretty good in blue. Crew blue, base blue, base and system services blue, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like they put a little bit of a pearlescent on that too. A purple. Pur what is it with the furnace and the color purple? Or is that just my crew color? I don't even know. Did I put like a, a reddish pearlescent in the crew? I don't think I did. Oh, now is not the time to ponder. Now is the time to race. Again, these are completely stock. We're talking no wing here. And I do not have the funds to go crazy and buy all these things and max them out in a short period of time. Whoa! It was uh, it was slippy, but it was catchable. And no, that wasn't the glitch. That was just me overcooking the turn. It's it's pretty even here. See that it goes either way. That's right, you heard it here first, the Infernus goes down right here make that joke. We're just gonna move on. Let's see, keep going, keep going. This feels pretty quick too. 
I can't, I don't know that it feels quite as hammered down fast out as the Turismo. Classic. Either Turismo, really. And let's late break this one, give it fast. Okay. Okay, this one is going to be flat out through there. Come on, come on, come on. Well, my best turns on that point about the day, so that should buy it some time. Still, we're at 145. I don't think we're gonna catch it. Well, I'm hoping we can catch the Starlet. I mean, this is this was a pretty smooth run. I don't know if we're gonna catch the Starlet. Two minutes there. 215 to beat the Sterling. Oh, wait, let's see. 208, 209, 210. All right, 210. So it, it's about a second behind the Turismo, which is not too bad. And it blew the doors off to Sterling. So, so there you have it. We kind of confirmed Turismo, Inferno, Sterling. That's your sports classic class, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one other thing that I want to try here. Because this is the Sonora Freeway, this will be our last race. That's right, the Z-Type. The Z-Type should have, still, the, the highest top speed of the sports classics. It's, it has a top speed that competes with just about anything. It's not the fastest car in the game anymore, it's still pretty close. So with all these long straightaways, how does the Z do? It's not acceleration that this thing works with, I don't think. I think it's all top end beams. It's not handling, it's not brakes. I could just as easily stuff this in the bushes. This is going to take all of my focus. You may get extra rambling, you may get quiet, we don't know yet. Oh, yeah, this is feels a little heavy. It feels heavy off the line. It feels like a heavy car. Like all the weights in that rear end. It's just dragging it along. Definitely losing time through the tight stuff, but can we make it up on a long straight line? Hammer down, Zed. Hammered. I'm going to break a little early here because this is the Z-Type, and oh yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I kind of probably could have braked a little later there. Because really, the car overall isn't too bad. It really isn't. Pushes there a little bit. Tends to push a little there. Can we get it? We have enough road to take advantage of that top speed. Coming up on two minutes. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, folks? Finished first, of course. 209, it, it actually matched the Turismo on this course. The top speed of that car was enough to pull it in. To pull it, not quite, it would have just missed it, but it would have beaten the other two cars. That is interesting, the Z-Type is still relevant. And on that bombshell, we're going to end. This is the Black Knight Lake. Can I say that without getting sued? I think so. Top Gear, folks. It's on that bombshell we're going to end. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.